Ready to jump. Lights on, they said. Ready to jump, they're off. Racing. I've got an L begins fast. Bold Chance was smartly away. Third in the stride was impregnable, and then came Prince Famous. Publishing power settling about fifth. Batacat back in the field. Then came Denarius Chapter and Verse. And last of all, Sword of Justice. Running up to the back bend, just over 800 left to run. I've got an L, one away from the rail. Three quarters, Bold Chance, who's keeping the fence. It presents impregnable with a butte run length away in third, one away from the rail. Publishing power fourth, then Prince Famous. Batacats over racing in the second half of the field. Chapter and verse in a nasty spot between runners. Then Denarius and Sword of Justice. Not much speed on here. 35 38. Backmarkers will need luck. Coming to the turn. Bold chance once again. Railed up. Joined. I've got an L. Impregnable presents out three deep. Followed by Publishing Power who needs a run. Chapter and verse starts to run on down the outside, but the sprint is on. Where Bold chance. I've got an L led from Impregnable and Chapter and verse struggling to get to them. Bold Chance on the inside is fighting on gamely from I've got an L. Impregnable coming late. Bold Chance in front of one. Been impregnable. Third I've got an L. Fourth publishing power. Then chapter and verse. Denarius. Sword of Justice. Banner Cat at last. Prince Famous. 1-9-23 the time. Well that was a, a sprint home. They didn't go that hard early so leaders advantaged and Bold Chance clinging on gamely for about a neck victory over Impregnable. I've got an L in third, and Publishing Power will be fourth. One, nine, two, three the time, but they'll be home in sub 34. 33, 82, the last 600 metres. That gives Rob Heathcote a training double, successful with Stella Victoria in the Legacy Classic. Yes, 3, 6, 11 and 5, Morris. Thank you. Bold chance the winner. Clever ride by Wiggins. Uh, he didn't get into a speed deal with I've Got an L, but he made sure he retained the rail and kept I've Got an L one off. And then he railed up around the turn, joined I've Got an L, got the better of it, and then withstood a late burst from Impregnable to win by half a neck. A short neck between second and third and a half a length to the fourth horse. 1-9-23 the time, Four. and the sprint home, 33-68. The owners, well done, Mel. Oh, no, thanks, Bernie. That was brilliant. Panned out well today. You were pretty confident pre-race with him. Yeah, he's done really well, and he's ticked all the boxes, and it was just how we come out today and how the speed was going to uh, apply. But um, they got away with some nice cheap sectionals early. They weren't going hard, so when we seen that, he, I thought he could kick on nicely. I was really surprised that, you know, I've got an out, didn't cross him, and he had the beauty of holding that inside spot. Yeah, it worked out well for us, didn't it? It did indeed. You spoke to Rob. He's very happy. Yeah, he's absolutely thrilled, and um, he can't wait to be back with us. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, there she is, Mel Sharp. All honours go to Bold Chance here in the last race, beats the Six impregnable, the money came for him late. 11, I've got an L, and five publishing power. So three, six, 11, and five. Hope you found a winner or two here. Let's go to Ascot. Well, chance by Brambo's gift out of compulsion. A six year old brown gilding for Rob Heathcote and Ryan Wiggins. Racing very well this campaign. He's had the five runs this time in for three wins in a second. So he's going well for his connections. Impregnable second was well back to win the race and just missed out, failing by half a neck. And third going to I've got a nil. Let's go back to Bernie. All right, Ryan Wiggins joins us now. Ryan, uh, boy, you got a pretty plum run there mid-race. Yeah, um, he was a little bit indecisive on he wanted to do, and obviously he's got a lot less weight than me today, so I made him carry that lightweight and uh, worked out good for me in the end. He looked like a bomb in the yard, and I bet he felt like one. He did. He was trucking, come around the home turn. Like, I just get a bit worried. He gets to the front, and he kind of doesn't he doesn't like going on with it too much. He just likes getting there and, and doing his own thing, but yeah, he fought like a cage line today. And just such easy sectionals in the early stages. Yeah, I, I, thought, well, I thought I wasn't going quick, but I was travelling pretty keen and the kid caught didn't know what to do so I was happy to stay up inside him. Well done. Thank you. Thanks Ryan. We're going.